a normal day flying here at Andy Jackson Airport. So we got here at probably around 11. In 45 minutes we're gonna have the shuttle pick us up. And they're gonna take us up there tomorrow. There, I don't know if you can see it from here. It's pretty cool. So here is where we set everything with the harness. You know, whenever it's needed, you put your harness here and you just trim it. You can see those guys at the end practicing, right? They're gonna jump from that little hill and fly all the way down to the field. He's trying. He needs to run to the right and apply left brakes. No, he's killing it. Many brakes, see that? Keep running, now keep running, keep running. He needs to have his body more forward. He got picked up, see that? But he's just not having enough forward speed. Truly fly. No, he's braking too much, his hands are too low, see that? See, you park down there. Just come upstairs. And here's the training field. learn how to kite right so the wind comes from over there like kind of south southwest usually and then, you know it hits all the grass area it climbs up hits the mountain and that's why we get lift and we can fly for a long time in the right conditions we're over there right see these peaks they just pick up all this air coming up it's like a flow of water, right? When you add thermal action to that, then you get a lot of a lot of lift here. And air bubbles are gonna start going up, especially after midday. And all that air is gonna climb up. That together with the wind that is already climbing up, it generates optimal conditions. So this is the bunny hill. This is where beginners jump for the first time. So you can see this is the grass area where you would be. Can you see here? Here you just go, you jump, you run, and then boop, you take off. Take off and you fly all the way down there. You wanna land there, not in the high bushes, if you can avoid it. And don't fly too far that you might hit those power lines. That's very unlikely, because they're farther than it looks, but you know, you gotta, you gotta know what you're doing. Very nice wind right now, see? Very constant, these pilots are here waiting for the shadow like me. The body's flying right now. Everybody's waiting for a little more hotter conditions midday. So there is even more lift up there. But the wind is very nice right now. The hang glider getting ready here. This guy is an Australian champion. Look at Marshall, but yeah, I will take off. Yeah, it, it was fun, it was a yeah. great time. It's a bit it's yeah, it, slower than cross plane, but yeah, you can actually yeah, climb all the way to cross plane in the right, in the right conditions. See those houses over there? That's cross plane where I was earlier. It's higher as you can tell, and it's way windier there. Although we have a very nice wind here, I have to say. This is the windiest I have ever taken off here. So yeah, the takeoff will be pretty good, I think. Alright, let's set up and start getting ready. These guys are getting some thermal already. Okay, that's not how you do it, okay?
unbelievable. Let's get out of here. Let's go to the face. There's the sheer layer here, I think. All the thermals die around here today. There's this cloud you can see, right? Okay. So fine. Okay, here we're starting to get some proper air. Still sinking. Not for long. Okay, catch it, catch it. This guy, so that's good. There is some action here. Let's try to use it. 